Advancements in technology happen at a rapid pace. That means industries also need to adjust at a rapid pace as well. Cogen is a U.S.-based company that is listed on the NASDAQ under ticker symbol COGT. Joining me now is company CEO and director Derek Dubner. Derek, thank you so much for joining me. My pleasure. Well, tell me about the business model of Cogen at a time like now where a lot of uh, companies need to protect their data and consumers are worried about data breaches. What do you do? Sure. Well, we are a data and analytics company by heart. Um, this management team has built two successful companies in what we call the data fusion space. That is a subset of big data that we hear a lot about. Uh, in data fusion, we aggregate billions and billions of records and we fuse that data together to present a comprehensive view of individuals, their assets, their businesses, and the interrelationships. And we serve that to the risk management industry. So to better serve consumers, banking and financial services, insurance companies, law enforcement and government, uh, those type of industries can utilize this for real-time solutions. Uh, we sold those two previous ventures to two of the leading companies in the world, and so this management team got back together. And two years ago, we started Cogent to re-enter our marketplace. And tell me more about the uh, two brands that you have under Cogent and what the differences are. Sure. We have two brands. Uh, the first is IDI, Interactive Data Intelligence. That is exactly what I was telling you just now. It's the real-time solutions to the risk management industry. Those products are for due diligence, for identity authentication, and legislative compliance. Our other brand is Fluent. Uh, based here in Lower Manhattan, uh, approximately 120 employees, and that is a um, digital marketing company. And what we do is we drive consumers off of their mobile connected devices, and we interact with those consumers where they fill out surveys and provide us self-reported information, and we deliver the right consumer to the right advertiser at scale. And Derek, you mentioned Manhattan. I also understand you have two other offices. So could you tell me where they're located and also about your proprietary technology? Sure, absolutely. So my team, the management team, some of the administrative offices, we're based in South Florida. But really, the, the heart of our development is our technology team. And that is our Seattle office, where we have assembled a team of what I like to call rocket scientists, literally PhDs from Boeing and Microsoft and Amazon, uh, an amazing team, all led by our chief science officer, who was the architect of those two platforms that I just mentioned that we sold to two of the leading companies in the world. So he has created for us our next generation cloud-based platform, uh, highly scalable, uh, very fast, uh, with a user interface that is more user-friendly, we believe, than anything we've created in the past, and we're hearing that from customers. And Derek, we're standing here on Wall Street. Uh, we know that global equity averages continue to hit new record highs. Now, given all that liquidity, I do want to move on to the financials for your company. I understand that on November 8th, you'll be uh, re uh, reporting on earnings. So could you shed some light on your company outlook? Absolutely. Well, we just announced a tremendous transaction in September, uh, a transaction, a business combination with Blue Focus International Limited. They're a Hong Kong-based company, but Silicon Valley uh, headquartered. And essentially, we're combining our businesses. They are contributing two of their leading companies, Vision 7 and We Are Social, a UK-based and a Canadian-based marketing services companies. They're going to contribute those into Cogent along with $100 million in cash. And what that's going to do for our shareholders is we're going to create a world-class global marketing services company, combining Fluent with those two properties, and we're going to distribute the $100 million in cash, less certain transaction expenses, of course, to our shareholders of record, which we approximate to be about $0.95 cents to $1.10 a share. So we're very excited. This gives Fluent its international expansion, dealing with chief marketing officers around the world, uh, and uh, it creates enormous shareholder value for our shareholders. And Derek, last but not least, before I let you go, I do want to talk about trends you're seeing in big data. We know that that's a space that will continue to make uh, headlines going forward. So what do you expect to see in big data? And for businesses out there, what is your advice regarding risk management? Sure. Well, this is a very exciting time. Um, we hear all too much the reemergence of the term AI for artificial intelligence. And that's really a lot to do with the improvements in machine learning and other modern data science techniques over the years. Uh, this is also driven by an unbelievable time over the last two decades of the creation of vast amounts of data from e-commerce, social, mobile, and now the Internet of Things. So it really gives an amazing view into the consumer and our behaviors and the ability to better serve consumers in everything we do. I guess imagine in the Internet of Things, your refrigerator indicating to you that you're low on milk 
and you receive a coupon at your local grocery store for the exact brand you buy. Okay, Derek, well, thank you so much for joining me today, and thanks for insight into your company. It's my pleasure. Thanks for having me.